Hey guys, Matt from Canada Welding Supply. We're your online source for all your welding supply needs, but we also have an awesome customer service and sales team to help you solve any welding problem that you may have. We stock a massive inventory of products here at our Mississauga location. You can come and shop in store or uh, we ship same day as well too. So whatever your, your situation is, we've got you covered. Today we're, we're taking a look at a new product that we're offering at Canada Welding Supply. This is the Theo handheld laser welding machine built by Mac Photonics. There's a lot of excitement right now about handheld laser welding machines, and we wanted to make sure that we offered a product that we could stand behind um, and from a manufacturer that is there to support the customer too. Um, we determined that this product here would be uh, something that we'd be proud to sell, and we're excited to share with you today. Before we get into the fun of welding with this machine, it's time to talk about safety. There's a lot of differences between a handheld laser welding machine and a typical welding machine, and there are some similarities too. So we'll start with the similarities. Uh, for PPE, you're gonna wear standard welding jacket, standard welding gloves, usually TIG gloves are fine. Um, the idea is you just want your skin covered just like you would with any other welding process. Um, we have a welding helmet, and this is a little bit different than your standard welding helmet. It has a specialty glass in there. The light beam is not visible to the naked eye, but it can damage your eye. And these helmets have specialty glass to protect your eyes from those wavelengths. Um, you'll also be wearing a pair of laser safety glasses underneath the welding helmet. Um, and this is uh, just for added safety. Uh, we have specialty welding screens. We have a number of different suppliers that are required. Um, you can have portable screens, you can have permanent enclosures. There's a lot of different options depending on your application and our team is more than happy to help you determine what solution you need for your application. A couple additional safety features. The machine comes with a grounding loop. Now it's not actually for grounding the machine, it's to ensure that your torch is touching the workpiece. Um, additional to that, the machine has a mechanical interlock so when you set up your weld cell, you'll have a door with a mechanical um, interlock switch. And if that door opens, it'll shut down your machine and, and stop the welding. That way, if anybody enters your uh, welding booth without the proper PPE, there won't be in any risk of, of harm. One other thing that Canada Welding Supply is proud to offer is specialty courses. We have a, a couple of vendors that we can refer you to that um, can have you certified for handheld laser welding, as well as a uh, laser safety officer. It's very important at your company that you understand the regulatory requirements as well as the physical safety requirements and uh, we highly recommend that you get someone certified as a laser safety officer or at least take a handheld laser welding safety course. So the first thing we'll jump into is setting up the machine for the first time. Uh, it's very simple. The first thing you'll do is connect your grounding loop. Next you'll set up your torch. Um, the nozzle connecting tube and nozzle come separate in the box, so you'll install them into the torch, as well as the optional wire feeding accessories as well. The one last thing to check on your torch as well is that the protective uh, lens is in. This protects the uh, internals of the gun from any kind of spatter that might come back up through the gun. The machine comes with these nice brackets for you to store your welding torch and hose pack on. Next, you'll set up your connection for your optional wire feeder as well as if you're using any kind of remote controls as well as your safety interlock. Your gas inlet on the right here. These units are come with a power cord and a plug. They're 230 volt single phase. Once everything's all set up, hit the on switch. When you first power up the system, you'll get this safety screen. Please take a minute to read through the safety precautions. Once you understand the safety, features, press accept and continue. Right now we have an alarm, we have the emergency stop on, so we'll release that and our alarm goes away. The system will also be an alarm if your gas is not, gas supply is not connected. So once we get into the setup screen on the Theo, you'll see that uh, it's got a really nice interface, really easy to use. Uh, if you've looked at some of the other machines on the market, a lot of them have multiple different switches and um, areas where you need to kind of memorize different settings or know kind of what range you need to put things in. With the Theo, things are very simple. You tell it what material you're using. You have options for stainless steel, carbon steel, galvanized, aluminum, or copper. What your material thickness is. What type of joint you're gonna be welding. 
once you've got those settings in, you initiate the machine and activate the laser. So a few other features for us to look at is defocus. This number will tell you if you need to adjust the nozzle tube on the torch. Most of the time it's set at zero, but sometimes it'll be plus or minus. We also have the wire feed enable. So if you are using a wire feeder, you'll select that switch to turn it on. And fish scale pattern uh, will adjust the way the wire feeds to get a stacking dime appearance. Other than that, we have the home screen that'll take us into some more background features as well, which we'll get into a little bit later. Now that I put my parameters in the machine, it's telling me the defocus should be set at zero. So I take a look at the zero line on the nozzle tube. I set it at zero. I'm going to be using a flat nozzle for this butt joint. So I'll set that up and give it a go. Just going to try and see what happens if I try to weld without that connected. So I've got everything set to weld here. Now there's one last step. That's connecting my grounding loop. If I try to weld without it, the light beam will not fire. I've set my grounding loop. This is my first weld of the day. I haven't uh, used the machine in a couple weeks, actually. Uh, I'm not a very experienced TIG welder. And just like that, we got a nice clean weld on uh, thin gauge steel, stainless steel. And that's how easy it is. Let's try something here. So the nice thing about using a handheld laser welding machine is that you can use a guide rail to help you get a perfectly straight weld. Again, when you're looking at someone who doesn't have years of experience TIG welding, it's a challenge to do a straight weld, but using one of these machines makes it really easy. Playing around with the nozzle angle a little bit, like the angle, gun angle. I want to try and like keep it flat because the gun is hitting, right? Really good, actually. I'll do. Nice. Now we're going to do a, a, a weld using the wire feeder. This wire feeder is set up with 308L035 stainless steel MIG wire. Turn it on. It's interconnected to the uh, Rio handheld laser welding machine already. We'll enable the wire feeder and it's ready to use. Now let's set up the gun. So we have our wire feed conduit. It slips in right here. We've got our wire feeder contact tip. We'll be using our uh, one of our wire feed nozzles that has a little groove in it for the wire to pass through. Before we tighten everything up, let's set up the machine. We're going to be doing stainless steel, one eighth, so it'll be three to four millimeter. We're going to do a horizontal filler weld. 
Our Z focus is still zero, so we'll make sure to set up our nozzle tube at zero. The last step before we weld with the wire feeder is to turn the switch on at the gun here. Now we're ready to go. Don't forget to hook your grounding loop up. Let's see if this works. It's a really clean weld. First try, the machine. I didn't have to play around with wire feed speeds. I didn't have to play around with different settings. I just set, told the machine what I wanted to do and that's the result I got. So as you guys can see, within minutes, we were able to set up the machine and produce repeatable high quality welds on challenging materials uh, especially for beginner welders. So this is something that if you're doing this kind of work in a production application and you're struggling with repeatability, the Theo handheld laser from Canada Welding Supply, something to take a serious look at. Now you've had a little bit of a walkthrough on the machine and you've seen us do some welding. The question is, is, is this machine right for you and your application? If you're doing TIG welding right now or struggling to do TIG welding, this could be the solution for you. Welding thin materials with precise fit up, different alloys that can be challenging to weld like stainless and aluminum, the machine handles it really easily. Production time is significantly faster, anywhere from four to 10 times quicker, depending on the exact application and the level of skill involved in producing an aesthetically pleasing weld is much, is much lower. So it's much easier for to get someone trained and up and running on this machine than it would be for TIG welding. If you're welding thin, thin gauge steels and you haven't taken a look at handheld laser welders yet, it's time to take a look.